Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwash and we are back with another not uh, not not not, not see unboxing but rather uh, me introducing another own on loan from a bro watches right. So this time around I've got another two new well watches too new for me right so basically this is a loan the loaner so thank you very much mr juan layton for lending me these two awesome watches right so um first up let's do a quick wristwatch check today i'm wearing my um, san martin sn0030 a bronze a pilot bronze watch which looks interesting and i think should have much much more attention from the watch community right so let's <laughs> Go with number one, which is this Seiko. Oh my God, Seiko! It is in in the Seiko Prospect lineup, but they call this the Mohawk. All right, so I will leave the uh, reference number here because I have no idea <laughs> what uh, the reference number of this piece. And yeah, it is um, on pictures, right? On pictures, it doesn't really look that big. So I I nearly bought one. Uh, a few years back but I somehow didn't really like this what do you call this uh, enhanced bezel <laughs> I have no idea what this is but this is the key feature that makes it makes um, Seiko fanboy all over the world calling it the Mohawk right so let's do a quick dimension check and yes I haven't changed the battery <laughs> on my calipers yet so sorry guys right so if let's say we take the dimension on just the case which is a bit different difficult because the case right so the, you see the case design here it is actually um, like that right so slanted to the top right so if you calculate if that's why I think it is easy to easy on wrist because the bottom side of the case is quite small but you know what since it is tapering out like so so let's just measure it on the bezel itself right so on the bezel itself so including the mohawk thingy so it will uh, the diameter is 45 millimeters but if you just measure it without the mohawk thingy <laughs> It is still 45 millimeters in diameter, right? So a lug to lug, right? So let's check out the lug to lug. This one will be about, wow, a very, very long um, 50.6. Let's call it a 51 mil, right? Let's just remeasure that. Okay, 51 millimeters. And a thickness without the Mohawk thingy is 13.5, right? Uh, the lug width is, I think this is using a 22 millimeters. Yep, that definitely 22 millimeters and the uh, way on this particular uh, OEM Seiko absolute horrible <laughs> horrible rubber strap is about 121 grams right so which makes this a very very heavy watch right so of course the key feature of this particular watch is this <laughs> what do we call this bezel uh bezel ha ah, bezel guard nope nope definitely not bezel guard it has screws here right so you can see you could actually if you want to you could actually take it off but you know what if you take it off then why the heck would you buy this <laughs> in the first place right so yeah let's just call it a bezel thingy <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's just let's just be let's just make let's just don't talk about it, right? So, uh, this featuring a metal bezel here on on this uh, from zero minute to twenty minutes and a normal, um, I think this is an an a PBD or maybe iron plated bezel bezel with uh, with this it's nice grip, but it is actually poly, so gripping it is quite difficult because this on this part we have this uh, polish um section here so there's no grip whatsoever so you have to use if you say you are you put it put it in on your right uh, left hand so you have to you have to somehow use this part of the bezel to turn the bezel even then it feels a bit slippery but still the sound right that is a typical seiko bezel sound right so not so smooth not that uh, clicky so yep and fortunately it lines right so that's good okay so um the dial right so this version has the orange dial but there are a few other versions with a um, black color and i think i saw white i don't remember but yeah still this one came in this orange dial and there's a quite a big a huge um chatter ring there uh, that slopes down from the top from the bottom of the crystal 
and we have this uh, matte uh, orange dial right so with this quite a unique indices that i haven't seen on any other seikos <laughs> as of now right so we've got that seiko printed logo under the 12 o'clock and prospect logo at the six o'clock automatic divers 200 meters so yes this is an iso certified watch right so um day and date will on the three o'clock that means it is using the seiko 4 r36 with a screw down crown which is of course not signed by seiko huh. so yeah that's nothing new there and and oh yeah uh, we've t i totally forgot to talk about the case brush finishing on just top of the clock and the uh, deluxe but polish on everywhere else so this is a super duper shiny watch case from shades from seiko which is a bit weird because they don't really make shiny uh dive watches that much right so at the back we have this beautifully done um a diverse uh, 200 meter seiko screw down case back and yeah a screw down crown so you have of course your usual setting and hacking movement right so screwing it back is uh uh, okay so it's your typical seiko crown so nothing new there and yeah check out that unique uh hands guys our hand minute hands uh, yeah this the, the second hands is your your typical seiko lollipop uh second hand but those <laughs> those hands right so they are a bit different and i think they are unique to this particular uh, watch so if i'm wrong please do let me know in the comments section below what is not unique is this <laughs> absolutely horrible stiff strap from seiko i i don't know seriously seiko come on right so yeah. anyway so this is what they supply in the past let's put the watch on my wrist and see how it looks like so 51 mil from luck to luck this is definitely not a small watch so i i i think i made a right decision not to pull draw the trigger on this one long 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 time ago so even if i did i would have regretted and sold it right so because it is way too big for me right so we have this seiko uh, wave logo here at the bottom and very very stiff but still quite a yeah you know there's a lot more uh balance to the strap right so let's go to watch number two for tonight so you see that we have this pouch thingy here and this is cool very very nice leather i think this is leather oops okay so what is it then okay so this is a brand a micro brand called called underwater so i'm not really sure where they are based but i think they are based in hong kong so we have the uh okay so it's the other way around <laughs> underwater warranty cut a quarter a Korea, so maybe that a Korea means a this jellyfish thingy, right? I think so. So we, yep, uh, instruction manual. Uh, huh, pull out. Okay, blah blah blah. So nothing new there. Man, warning if necessary. If you are okay, so that is nothing. This new. So this one we have OVD. Don't keep this to yourself. OVD watches, right? Oh yeah, I think I've heard of these guys before. So, I have no idea that they are still around, but yeah, yeah. But I've took uh, two links out of the watch, and let's see the watch itself. Boom! <laughs> right, so check that out, guys. How cool is that dial? Right, so when I saw this one on the wrist of uh, Mr. Juan, I was like, "What the heck was that?" Yeah, that is my first impression. I was like, who? <laughs> it looks so big and huge, but the party trick, I will show you guys later how, what is the, what, what I'm talking about, but yeah, still, let's check out the dimension of the case. So, um, again, it's, this is going to be a huge watch, right? So, 42, uh, not so big, 42 millimeters in diameter and the thickness ooh, 14 mil so that's very very thick and check out that integrated bracelet thing right so i think we could we could take it off but still um because it has this very very weird um 13 mil um luck with so i've doubt that you could not use your normal uh strap right so yeah let's call it an integrated bracelet 
and the way right so this thing i've t when i received this watch from uh mr juan i took out two links you know let's talk about this, those links it's quite huge this one right so you can see that it's a um, bit blasted on top and pull and brush at the back so yeah that's good they are using a yeah it's just just a simple pins so size up for my 6.75 inch wrist this thing still weigh at about whoa 184 grams so that is still very very heavy but if you are if you have a 7 or 7.5 inch wrist like mr juan do so that's going to be around 192 grams so that's this is a very very heavy and substantial watch on the wrist right so of course it does have a sapphire crystal i think so let's just confirm that using the diamond selector tool and yes it does and it is using a seiko and h35 movement all right so i at the time of the recording i have no idea how much is thing is this thing's going going to cost but i think mr juan mentioned to me that he bought this during a quick kickstarter campaign so if you guys are if you guys are interested to get one of these i think that it may i will of course leave a link down a link down below to their kickstarter, kickstarter campaign or it, sorry there's no more kickstarter campaign i will leave a link to their website and i have no idea how much this thing costs right now but of course that one will be uh, all the information will be furnished during the full review right so you know what let's just put it on the wrist right okay so when i talk up the two links right so you see that this links is quite big right so it's quite difficult to get a perfect fit because this one although we have this um what do you call this uh micro adjust here but when i try to put it on the second hole so it somehow the class won't uh close so that's that's the, that's a bit annoying so i don't know why it did that maybe it is a design flaw design flaw or anything i'm not sure but of course i will investigate more but yeah what i have to do is i have to took up two links and i have to extend this uh, this wretched extent extension thing a bit like that right so yeah okay so we have this dual push button here with the scissor clasp uh, of course it is milled and this very very chunky buckle with that Aquera, <laughs> Aquera, alright, Aquera jellyfish. I think this is a name of a jellyfish, right? So the links, right, is quite um, a Y style link, and when it when you see it from there, so it doesn't really look that good in my opinion, because yeah, it looks a bit weird, right? So yeah, that that is why I don't really like it, but still, it is where it is, and yeah, check out that beautiful uh crown with loom inside there inside here and those bezel right yep quite a springy action there so but there's no back play whatsoever and of course the major attraction here is the dial guys so you can see that those hour indices they are they are like double or two step <laughs> very very 3d looking so we have the um our indices in orange and another our indices at the bottom there in green and we have the underwater logo on the 12 o'clock and aqu aquaria aquaria uh, 500 meters Ooh, is it come on come on, let's confirm that come on hands out of the way yep 500 mm, is it? oh sorry 200 meters so <laughs> sorry about that guys very very tiny uh printing at the six o'clock and we have that beautiful second hands with this uh, circular pattern here and that unique hour hand and minute hands right so, and um we have that <laughs> orange um minute sorry date wheel which stuck at 4 30 which is a very very annoying position to have a date wheel but still it seems you've got this in orange so why don't we just put another orange in in in, in the middle of nowhere so <laughs> so you know what let's just put it on the wrist and see how it looks like and okay so i am on this side so yep you can see that this clasp is very very big it's a bit too big in my opinion but yeah still you can't f i don't know why we need this class but if i am a diverter maybe i would need it but yeah still having a and on the file on the fly adjustment is very very cool and it still feels very very substantial all right so let's do the most important part the party trick 
right the party trick for tonight which is the the loom right so let's check the loom you know what since we already have the saint martin here why not just give that thing a charge as well right so one two three four five one two three four five on the seiko and one two three four five on the on the underwater aqua <laughs> Aquaria, Aquaria, right? So, are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Okay, guys, check that out. Oh my god, this thing is awesome. And what is this? Give it much, much more. You see that crown, guys? Oh my god, they really, really know how to surprise people with this crown. Check out that crown, guys absolutely gorgeous loom there so you know what i'm going to be wearing this tonight so you know what? i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna be sleeping with this watch because i am curious about if they if the uh, loom stays all night long right so <laughs> oh my god the brand name and even the model name is loom and yeah check out those in this and you see that those hands right so the hour hands and minute hands they are a bit too thin so i wonder if they stay through the night right so of course the seiko you can't fault seiko loom for you know what seiko loom red loom is always going to be awesome but will this one stay <laughs> longer than the seiko so we will see right so of course the saint martin is using a c3 super luminova and this is a pilot watch so awesome awesome watch for the money but yeah still the star of the show is this guy here and we wish we, we shall see right so well, let's turn back the lights on, right? So, what do you guys think about this two awesome piece for, that I've got in from um, Mr. Juan? So, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, so please do let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you soon. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Stay safe and bye bye.